My name's John and I'm an emergency medicine physician assistant. And I'm making this video for all of you new grad PAs out there. And I know that you're looking in the job market and it's tough. We all get into healthcare thinking there's a ton of jobs out there for everybody. It'll be so easy to get a job right away. But what you have to realize is, yes, there are jobs out there for PAs, but they might not necessarily be the job, your ideal job, the job you want to do. While it's ideal to secure a job before you graduate, or maybe even right after you take your pants, or uh, right after you get your license, you have to kind of just be realistic. I mean, it took me six months after graduation to land a job. Granted, two of those months I spent traveling France and traveling Europe because after you spend two and a half years in an intense PA program, you kind of just want to get out and go somewhere. So once that was out of my system, what I realized is it, for a lot of jobs, if you're trying to work for a big hospital system, it's probably going to take you at least three months to get onboarded and credentialed at that facility. So from when they say, yes, you're good to start working to when you actually start having lots of shifts and are getting paid. If you're at a smaller location, then they might be able to accommodate you sooner. I would at least give yourself three months after you graduate, but it can take you anywhere up to six months longer than that. Obviously, it could take you less time than that. So long story short is don't be discouraged if it's taking you a little bit of time to find your ideal job. Keep sending out applications just every day. Try to send out 10 applications, 15 applications. Apply even if you don't think you're going to get something. Call people in person, show up in person. It's very good to be armed and informed with the AAPA salary report and a few other sources about how much PAs are getting paid. That way you can avoid really, really low ball offers. But look at multiple factors. Look at what type of insurance coverage they're giving you. Look at the type of atmosphere that you'll be working in. Is there gonna be a lot of support and cohesion and a, a good learning environment for you as a new grad physician assistant? Because that's kind of stuff that you would want and you would want supportive coworkers and an environment where you can actually learn versus just being thrown to the wolves, moving patients, churning them out. And in terms of my hierarchy, there's three things. You have salary, location, and specialty. Pick two. It's very rare that you're gonna find all three ideally. So in my situation, I got the specialty I wanted. I wanted to work in emergency medicine. I have a very good salary. The location, I mean, I'm in the state I wanna be in. I, I love where I am, but it wouldn't be my first choice. You have to kind of approach it from that way. A lot of, a lot of people are kind of locked into a location, right? Whether it's family, a significant other, whether it's the fact that you definitely 110% want to be on the beaches of Florida or California, okay, I understand. But then you have to realize that you are significantly limiting yourself in terms of job prospects. So if you're going to lock it on location, then maybe you can't be as specific with the amount of money you're going to get. I mean, if everyone wants to be uh, in South Beach, Miami, maybe they're not going to be paying you as much uh, versus, you know, the middle of nowhere. Likewise, you know, you might have to make compromises with what specialty you get into right away. Maybe you join urgent care instead of going right into emergency medicine, or maybe uh, you decide that you have to be a night shift person even though you absolutely hate nights but it's like the only way to get your foot in the door come into it and try to make compromises and don't worry yourself about what other people are getting or what other people are making in your pa school class your job that you land is a first job you know it's not necessarily your job for the rest of your life so make the best out of it make it a good experience get some money pay off your loans try to learn and adapt and prepare yourself for the future that's not saying uh, take a job that's offering you seventy-eight or eighty thousand dollars when you know that new grad PAs are making ninety, a hundred, a hundred ten, whatever it is in whatever specific area at whatever specific year. Don't sell yourself short, but stay realistic. You don't have to go get a job immediately after school. Remember your loans; they have a six-month forbearance period after 
you graduate. It gives you some time to get situated and get your life together. Obviously, the sooner the better. Get out there, stay confident, stay optimistic, and keep doing a good job. Have a great day, guys.